Today we're going to show you a fly that's become pretty well known in the fishing world, fly fishing world, when we're talking about trout, reds, flounder, snook, any of these species. In fact, you can catch almost anything, any, even hardheads. So I'm going to tell you about three of the main hooks that I use to make these flies. And one of them is a mustad, and it's called Big Game. It used to be 34007. And the size I, most of the size I use is from four to two aught, and, and what, depending on what the fish I'm going to be fishing for. My favorite hook of all is this one. It's an SP600, and uh, it's kind of an expensive hook, but it's the best, as far as I'm concerned, that you can get, especially if, if you're fishing for tarpon and snook. And then another is the Gamagatsu. It's the SL12S. I really fell in love with this hook for tarpon, for anything. And uh, it's not a real expensive hook. The Mustad is the cheapest. And, uh, but that is a, still a very good hook. That's what we'll be using today. By the way, this vise is called a Norvice. I've been tying on them, my like, golly, 30 some years. Uh, a guy named Nor invented the vise. He was an engineer with Boeing and a fly fisherman and uh, came out with one of the best rotary vices that you can, you can obtain. And it's not that expensive. Now what we're going to be tying today, to start off, we're going to do a, a numeral uno fly. We're going to show you how to, also how to make some eyes that are extremely inexpensive and they hold up very well. And that's a bead eye. Get them at any craft store. Uh, and I use uh, two or three different sizes. And we're going to be using a gold, little gold bead like that right there. And I'll, I'll be putting them on there in just a minute. I'm going to put a little thread on my hook. Come on, kick in there, baby. And we call the numero uno the tail of five tails. That's because we actually use, there's a reason that we use no, numerous tails on it. One is the twister tail, which you have right here. And... Uh, the thing about the twister tail, it's it's a it's a great great tail. Fish, all the fish love it, but the piggy purse love it more, and so does a little barracuda or a mangrove snapper. And they eventually they chew them off. This fly is very similar to the fly we caught the big lady on, and they had she the, the little fish had chewed off, off everything, and the only thing that was left of it was the body and and the black uh, deer hair, or it could have been uh, it, it could also have been foxtail. And we're going to do one similar to this, just to show you how, how we tie them. It's a very simple tie. Right now we're going to put a little, a little bucktail on here. And then we're going to put the eyes on. And the eyes, we use numerous types of eyes. But the bead eye or belt, dumbbell barbell eyes out of metal or lead, they're all good. And we got a little bucktail on. And we're also going to add some more to it later. But right now, I'm going to... Get my glasses on, go out and see where I'm going. Where in the hell did I put them? I had it right in front of me. <laughs> no, I, can't, can't, I couldn't see them because they were in front of me. I didn't have my glasses on to see them. On, we've got a little piece of, of uh, 15 or 20 pound mono. And this is really slick. It's, it's so neat, it's unreal. And, you, and it's almost in, in hard to break break this. This is the little bead, two of them. Got them lined up there. We're going to put this mondle through them like, like this. And we're going to come like to see that. And we're going to come back around here and go back through them again. And this is what you're going to wind up with right there. And we're going to pull that tight. We're going to squeeze that, and we're going to lay that right here. We're going to go around there a couple of times, and then we're going to come up through the between the eyes. And we're going to go around, tie it in there good and tight. We don't want it to turn on us.
get that off. Now that's tight. That's what we want. Now we're going to add a little fox fur on there or marabou. And I think I'm going to put some marabou on this. This is a twister tail. This is a marabou deer tail. Deer hair. And the nice thing about the deer having that the buck tail on there, it helps keep that marabou up where you want it when you're stripping the fly in. Now the next thing is we're going to take, let's, let's keep in this cut range, some, some Chanel right here. I'll put the Chanel on there. Now the nice thing about this fly, if you want to add some legs on it, you can do that. Or this is we're doing it the simple, simple way right here. It's very, very convenient and very easy. And roll that on. This is a rotary vise. That's, I, I love using this vise. This one's not real tight, so it's going to wobble on me a little bit, but that's all right. All right. And we're going to make it. We're going to make it weedless. Most of my unals are tied weedless, so we're going to take a little bucktail, uh, and a, I like a tractor color on my weedless. Somebody run off with my tractor color. My bird dog's not here, so she didn't, and I found it on the floor. So we're going to use this here, a few strands of bucktail, and put that in there. This is a weedless numeral uno. And the Uno has a beard. I call it a beard. And we're going to put, come here, and we're going to tie this beard in like this. And if you want to leave a full beard on it, you can. But this is a fly that you can throw into the mangroves, to grass, different places, and it very seldom will stick. You can get it off. So now we're going to palmer this on. I use 21 wraps. That's 20 there. And we're going to pull it tight. We're going to go around a couple more, tighten it up some more. I like it good and tight. And then we're going to push it back like this. Then we're going to take a Martelli tool in one minute. This is buries the thread. It's called, it originally was named the Martelli tool. And you can see we're hooking that like that. We're going to form a diamond, come up over there like that, and roll that on. We're also going to go come back around it. And you don't need, by using this, you really don't need any, any glue on it. We'll do it another time, a couple more here. Now that's a full beard numero uno. If, now I'm going to tell you, if we want to make this into an attractor mud minnow, let me grab something else. Be right back. It's called Grizzly. These are saddle hackles, rooster saddles. They have gotten very expensive, by the way. Uh, just a half saddle like this costs almost 40 bucks. A full saddle, 70 to 80, 120 bucks. And if you know, know somebody's got uh, fighting chickens, next time they're fighting, go out there and get their, their necks when they kill them, on, when them fighting chickens die. Because you'll find a lot of, of good grizzlies in there, too. So you would just, just take and add a grizzly on there, and you've got a, a tractor mud minnow. Now we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give this one a haircut because we're gonna use it in a different way. We don't need a full beard, so we're gonna push that down like that. And we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna follow the the, the hook like that. And that's, that's the baby right there. A deadly fly, and we, you can fish it with, with twister tails on it. We use marabou on it. We use deer hair on it. We use foxtail on it. And uh, uh, Scott Sparrow, you say, yeah, Bud, Bud's always 
uh, changing that fly up. Well, I've got, I, I did it for a reason. The piggy perch and the barracuda and the mangrove snappers made me do it because they kept eating my twister tails off. But it's the same fly, bead eye or dumbbells, and it is a, you can throw it in the mangrove. It's amazing how weedless it is. And you can increase this bucktail beard by making it heavier, but you don't want to get it too heavy. If you get too heavy, you hook a trout and it might, might not get the fish. So you want to make sure that when you've got that cut, you put your finger there and it, it hooks your finger. You see that? Catching my finger there? That is a killer diller fly, folks. It's proved its worth in the salt water. This fly has taken four or five IGFA world records. And uh, Brandon, and, uh, down at, when he was guiding down in the uh, Mexico uh, in the uh, Ascension Bay one year, and he, uh, one day he took trout, red, no, not trout, but uh, he took permit. That's one with the legs on it that he had on, on this fly. In fact, I may even have the fly here. He took snook, he took permit, he took tarpon, and one other species all on one. It was a light colored fly, it was almost white. But that's, that, that fly is simple to tie, it's a winner. This is grizzly saddles. And this is what makes this an attractor mud minnow because mud minnows have slight stripes on them. So we're gonna take two gri grizzly saddles if the wind don't blow them. We got a lot of wind today. emulate the mud minnow. You see that? Yeah. And we definitely want this to be uh, weedless also, so we, we will put bucktail beard on it. And I love this right here. This is uh, kind of an avocado and black uh, This is an attractor mud. Trout and reds love these things, I'll tell you that. Excuse my licking my hand. Now we're going to put a beard on it. I think I'm going to use. I like the. I used. I love a tractor cutter on my beard. Some people think used to think they had to have red on everything. They find out sometimes natural's better. Of course, red's a blood blood sign, so. Let that extend over a little bit. Get a couple of wraps around there. Pull it down, flare it a little bit. Twenty-one wraps. The wraps is when we're what we're doing is actually makes a spring. Out of that so it can spring up and down. I think I'm close to 21, but I'm going to go ahead and pull on that a little bit and I'm going to tighten that up even more. Now the Martelli tool. We'll whip that baby in there. There's a fly we tied pretty quick. Didn't take too long. Uh, that's good. I'm not. Come on, bud. You don't know what you're doing. Let's get it on. Put the leche on the porchy. Get it right. A gold eye would look better on here, but that, that's fine. Now we're going to take and take it out of the vise. We're going to push that down. And we're going to make this cut. You slide that scissor right up in there. And the, where the hook's pointed, we want to go right down where it's pointing. And we're going to clip that off. Trim that a little bit. 
And that does make it weedless, but it will hook your finger. Try it, I guarantee you, you like it. <laughs>